central event brought us a teaser of the brand new game and I'm aware there have been many 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 leaks since then and I haven't really spoken about them since I know you guys probably expected a few videos to come out explaining different leaks but I'm doing it like this we're going to talk about what's been leaked or what, however you want to put it and what I feel about one big thing in particular is infinite back Yo guys, it's I, your friendly neighbour Twat and a Sonic at Calamity and today we're going to be talking about Sonic Rangers. The name Sonic Rangers itself is actually a leak. When people looked at the code of the video in the 4K version, they realised that Sonic Rangers was in the code. Sega also sent out a press release documenting that Sonic Rangers was being revealed and then quickly pulled it from circulation and said that it was a previous packet that was meant to go out and instead it was just no mention of the game at all. Then a few channels like Premi and people like that went and pulled up previous leaks that had happened in the beginning of this year and one from last year. These leaks were people claiming to have played a game called Sonic Rangers which is apparently an open world Sonic game. Something a lot of us have been clamoring for for a very very long time at this point. These leaks have kind of synced up with the Zippo leaks, so it's looking like this was an early in development version of Sonic Rangers. Again, we don't know Sonic Rangers will be the actual title. All of these productions have codename titles while they're working on them. Well, not all of them, but it's, it's very common in multiple different media fields. So, you know, it could be Sonic Rangers, it could not be Sonic Rangers, but something that we want to get into is the plurality of Sonic Rangers. Sonic Rangers to me implies multiple playable characters. However, these leaks have all stated that they have not seen any additional characters in it. For anyone who has done focus testing like myself as I have done with Sega in the past, you know you do not play the full game. You play a very small section of the game that they want you to see. The reason for this being if they showed you all the big story elements and they showed you the big climactic end fights, then you would be able to leak that very easily and the entire game is ruined. Which brings me on to my next point. Apparently, they completed the final boss in the game. And there's some very interesting information surrounding that. The leaks have said that you get different Chaos Emeralds from defeating different bosses in the open world areas. There are also apparently generation style boost levels that you go through portals to access. But apparently once you've got all seven Chaos Emeralds, you go through a fog and you end up fighting a final boss, which is a giant tree type thing. It's been stated that you have to climb up it going along, and I'm assuming you're doing this as Super Sonic. A very key thing here is one of the leakers says the infinite music starts playing. Now, this could be just a case of Sega putting that in there for this focus test just to have some music for the boss. However, I am praying that this is not the case. Infinite has been really pushed to the side when it comes to this franchise. He didn't get a lot of characterization at the start, but he is kind of like the Darth Maul of this series. He is done after one entry and then no real story. And then later on, they just brought back all this stuff and they, they fleshed the character out. That's what I want from Infinite. I kind of want the Darth Maul story. But I find it quite interesting that Infinite still isn't in Sonic Forces speed battle. He's literally the villain of Sonic Forces and he is not in the game, yet we're going to get Werehog this October and every variant of Sonic and Shadow going. There's been no mention of him in the IDW comics. I know they're a separate continuity, but Sega are very controlling over what goes into those comics and it would appear that Sega are holding on to Infinite. I don't know what for, but I think they want to use him again. And we see the particle effects as Sonic runs in the teaser trailer that look very similar to Infinite. Now I know that this is pulling at straws, but considering we're hearing that the boss music for one of the bosses, and I want to clarify, I don't think this is the end boss, I think this is just one of the bosses, but that music is apparently Infinite. And if it's not just the placeholder, what if Infinite did have a bigger role to play out in Sonic Rangers. His power 
was too epic to be destroyed in the way it was. It was a very kind of niche plot device in a sense, I guess, but it was overwhelming power, and he was just defeated with no real progression to any of the reasons as to why he was defeated, and I know this is Sonic the Hedgehog. I know that we don't generally get this kind of progression, but part of me just feels like Sega might listen now, to be completely honest with you. They might be up for changing things. They've brought in new writers, uh, Pontac and Graphicon, which I'm quite happy about, and Roger's going to be back, so I think we're going to get to actually see how well Roger can really perform in this when it's not tied to those two writers. But damn, that Infinite. If Infinite came back and they did some big stuff with him, I'd be pretty happy, I'll tell you that. And of course, I want to be hearing that music any game I play, any day of the week, I want to hear the Infinite theme. So give that to me, give me remixes, give me all of that good stuff, and uh, yeah. I should just say I'm not the biggest fan of the way Infinite was handled at all. I think it was handled really poorly, but I think there's so much potential in this character that I'd be excited to see him come back and fleshed out and do more with the franchise. What do you guys think? Do you think Infinite will return in Sonic Rangers? Do you think it's actually called Sonic Rangers? Do you think that's a code word? Let me know in the comments. Slap a like on it and of course hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell so you know the second a new video goes live. I am your number one source of Sonic the Hedgehog news this year and you know this is where to get the best takes, the best streams, all of the good stuff when it comes to Sonic. So please do hit the subscribe button. And remember guys, I am taking your video submissions for Sonic's 30th birthday. That's right, every video that is sent to me will be put in a compilation and uploaded here on the channel. And I will be tweeting this out to people at Sega, Roger Craig Smith, um, Ben Schwartz, Jim Carrey, all the good folks. So send those in to calamityhatcher at gmail.com or upload it to the Google Drive. Link in the description of this video. You really don't have long left, guys. Just about two weeks. So send me your video submissions, 10 to 15 seconds long at maximum. No background music. Try and put it in landscape format. But if not, you know, do what you can. And send them through. Desperate Scamming, guys. We're going to make this 30th anniversary absolutely mad. I've got plenty of stuff coming for you. So keep it locked in to Flammy Hatcher because that is where it takes to be infinite. I said it. Bye, guys.